today was about my determination. I didn't get to go home for Thanksgiving. So I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina right now. So I it's, it's like a 12 hour drive. Wasn't looking to spend the money on a flight. So I didn't get to see my grandma and my mom, which is it's not cool, but it is what it is. So I told them I was going to cook Thanksgiving for myself. And, you know, I did it because I missed them. And I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. I love a challenge. That's, you know, I have this enormous chip on my shoulder. And I'm probably going to repeatedly say that. It's like, I have to show my will and my determination. No matter the situation, I can do it. And if I can't do it, I'm going to come back until I figure out how to do it. And, you know, it's those things that has led me to where I am right now. I, I don't quit. I don't stop. I have to, I have to figure everything out. I have to be right. I have to be correct. I, you know, there are all these things that I, my, my will is strong. And then that's a testament to my mom, to, to my grandma, you know, strong women. They instilled that in me to never give up, you know. You can't wait for something to come to you. You got to go get it. So I went and got Thanksgiving. I went. I went to the store. Had no clue what I was doing. You know, I talked to my grandma five times, like within uh, like a three-hour span. You know, what do I need? Do I need this? Do I need this? She doesn't give thorough instructions, so it was like, yeah, you know. You got to do this, this, and this. Like, There's got to be more to it. There has to be. You can't just tell me that that's it. Uh, and y'all you know, started cooking Wednesday night because everybody's telling me, oh, you know, you, you don't want to, you're going to be up at three in the morning starting dinner and all that. And I didn't want to do that. So I started cooking and, you know, I was asking questions and on YouTube, you know, looking things up. What the, what the hell is a rule? What is that? What is a rule? So, you know, just my whole thought press, my whole thought process for the, like the last two days was, you know, this is a metaphor for you know, what I'm going through with my, my film career now. You know, you start something, you have an idea and you have to troubleshoot, fix things along the way. You know, you, you want the end result to be glamorous and fabulous, but you're not willing to go through the growing pains. You know, you have to focus on each meal, each individual thing, and it's going to get you to a point where, you know, you don't have to worry about cook doing something for the first time or, or cooking Thanksgiving dinner because it's going to be routine. You got to grow. You got to go through to get to. And it was overall, it was a great experience because, you know, I have fun. I was, I was like on Snapchat laughing. Anytime something tasted good, I was, you know, that's success. Or small successes that lead to, you know, the bigger picture. And, you know, each time I completed a dish, it was like, wow, it's it's a burden off my shoulders. It's a relief. And it felt good to see the final product. Like I was taking pictures like crazy. It felt good to see the final product because, you know, it's, it's mine. It's something I created, you know, and I, th I didn't think it would be as good as it was. And, you know, that's normally my thought process is so, you know, I'm trying to defeat myself. I'm I'm my biggest critic. I'm my own worst critic. Like I'm trying to defeat that negative voice and defeat it and defeat it. And 
you know, just, you know, tasting the meal. Like, I've gotten to this point in my life where I, I enjoy cooking because it's creating, it's art, it's, it's, it's the same thing I do with video, but I just get to eat the end result instead of having to watch it. And, you know, today was something that I feel really happy about because I said I was going to do something and I did it and I attacked it. I didn't question whether I would ever do it again or if it's worth doing. I just did it and I have fun doing it. And I think that's something that I'm going to pull from now on with any project that I'm doing. You know, stop stressing about perfection and just finish because there are lessons to learn from that project that you can carry to the next one. It's about growth. It's not about the now. And that's how you achieve longevity is growing through and getting better. So, you know, everything isn't going to be an Oscar winner or, you know, there are going to be some things that I'm not satisfied with in hindsight, but I can carry that over to the next project and I can carry over today to next Thanksgiving when I actually attack a turkey.